This tutorial shows how to use the Orchestrator Studio to create a message service request. You can add a message service request to an orchestration to enable it to send a message to users in the Enterprise One Work Center or an external email system. In the Orchestrator Studio, we'll show an example of creating a message service request to send a message about a customer's credit hole to an account representative. So let's get started. A message request is a type of service request, so let's access the service request page. From here, we'll select Message to create a new message service request. On the Message Design page, we'll name the message service request, give it a short description, and select a product code to associate with it. The main section of the Message Design page is for defining the message recipient's subject and body of the message. The Shortcut section gives you the option to include a shortcut to an Enterprise One application in the message. In the Data Dictionary text section, you can use a Data Dictionary item to include boilerplate text in the message. So let's define the recipient of this message service request. Here, we'll enter an address book number of an Enterprise One user. For a message about a credit hold, you might send a message to a supervisor or an account representative. If your Enterprise One environment is configured with an SMTP server to send messages to external email systems, you can select Email from the To field and enter a valid email address here. Next, for the subject, we'll right-click to include a variable to pass in the name of the customer whose credit was placed on hold. So let's enter customer name here. To complete the subject, we'll enter over credit limit. Next, in the message body, let's add some details about the credit hold. We'll right-click to include two variables, one to pass in the address book number, and another to pass in the name of the customer in the message text. So for example, when this orchestration is run, this message might state, customer DS6860172 Dina Smith is over their credit limit. Next, we'll include a shortcut in the message to open customer master revision in Enterprise One with the customer record displayed. To add the shortcut, let's enter the IDs for customer master revisions. The studio loads all the fields that you can use to pass in values for the shortcut. In the address number field, we'll enter a variable to pass in the address number of the customer to the shortcut. Also, for the shortcut to work, we need to enter this value for the company row because it's the default company code used for all customer records in an Enterprise One test environment. Lastly, let's save this message service request. We have successfully created a message service request that when added to an orchestration designed to execute a credit hold, will send a message about the credit hold to an account representative. To learn more about the features shown here and other message service request features, see the orchestrator guide and visit us online at learnjde.com.